you know our first guest from Star Trek and Lord of the Rings, Carl Urban. Hi, Carl. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Are you recognized from Lord of the Rings? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I do get I do get recognized a, a bit from Lord of the Rings, but um, also a lot from Born Supremacy and, and Star Trek. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now you you just keep a new movie open today. Uh, it's coming out on uh, October the fourteenth, I think. Oh, okay. 15th? So in a yeah, couple it, weeks. It's called it's called Red. It's got we've got a great cast. We've yeah, got Helen Bruce Willis, Mirren, Helen loved. Merriam. She's awesome. She is gorgeous. She mm -hmm. is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Um, who else is in it? Who else? Uh, Morgan Freeman, Bruce Willis, Helen Mirren, John Malkovich, Richard Dreyfuss, Ernest Borgnine. Oh I don't gosh. know if you remember. Yes. Ernest, all of 96 years old and still, still Good. firing. Good. Good yeah. for him. And, and yet again, you play a bad guy. Uh, well, it's actually not quite accurate. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I start the movie off uh, um, trying to hunt down and, and kill Bruce Willis. But, well, uh, that's not a bad guy now, is it? Hey. Bruce Willis <laughs> might be the bad guy. We don't know. Bruce Willis is never really the bad guy. He's Bruce Willis. Yeah, it's very much a question of who is, would the real bad guy please stand up? I see. Ah. It's one of those kind of deals. Okay. Oh. So you often play a very athletic character. Uh, yeah, I have played, I've, I've played many athletic kind of ca characters, yeah. And, and are you, do you do any of your own stunts? Uh, any I, I like to do as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy the, the physical aspect of what I do. Um, however, I'll only you know work within the within the bounds of safety, and I, sure. I know there's a time to, to hand it over. Yeah, well, yeah. you don't want to get that would be no. Then you know, it, you know, having a broken ankle is not fun. It's not a lot of fun. No. I actually, I've got a very physical fight scene in this movie uh, with with Bruce, and uh, I didn't realize it till I started prepping for the next job. But I, I really injured myself. <laughs> really? Yeah. How? I mean, Where? Good, I had to go. I mean, I, I, my my neck was completely out. I had my spine was out of alignment. I had deep tissue issues. I had a swollen bursa on my, oh my, my tendon, my shoulder. <laughs> And this all happened in the space, the space of this two week fight. And he was fight. fine? He's fine. I'm sending him the bill. <laughs> he's probably fine. But I'm sending Bruce Willis the bill. Good. I and think you, he's good for it. Yeah, he can afford it. Yeah. You were in The Bourne Supremacy with That's Matt right. Damon? Yeah. I love him. Yeah, oh, he's fantastic. But I do. That's why you, you brought it up again, because he's already yeah. mentioned it once. Yeah, so. I do. I love Matty Damon. And okay. yeah, I do. I do too. He's a gentleman. He's, he's a, really, a lovely, he's a fantastic lovely guy. guy. Yeah, he's a friend of my brother's. And, and I met him years ago. And, uh, he was just nice. You know, he's just so down to earth. Yeah. And I think that's the, you know, he's just a big Hollywood star and he just couldn't be more, you know, down to earth. Yeah, just a guy. He's a great regular guy. A really cute guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you travel back and forth between your home country of New Zealand and Los Angeles? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. Uh -huh. I mean, I live in Auckland in New Zealand and, okay. I, and um, that's where I, I raise my family. I'm you know, happily married with two kids. And uh, I, my commute is uh, is a 12-hour plane flight. Yeah. Well, you go when you're really tired and, you know, get yeah. on the plane, go to sleep. It's actually pretty easy. I mean, you do. Right. You hop on a plane, you fall asleep, you wake up at work. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I'd need a lot of help to sleep that long. Do you, when you, you were in Star Trek and you were in Lord of the Rings, so yeah. when you go to Comic-Con, do people just freak out? Yeah, I'm pretty pretty popular at Comic Con. I mean, I've done a lot, you know, a lot, yeah. of, a lot of movies that uh, uh, <laughs> that the Comic Con goers yeah, like. That, that, that crowd like. But yeah. um, no, it's it's fantastic. I think that that is, that is really wonderful that there's an environment that everybody can come together and celebrate pop culture. And I mean, it's mad. Have you ever been to Comic Con? I'm sorry. Have you ever been to Comic Con? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not really my scene. Fair enough. <laughs> no. You don't get in your tr Star Trek outfit and go. Oh, not really? a Trekkie. No. No. <laughs> no? That's too bad. I think but what about just dressing up? You might like to dress up. Well, see, so in case you guys don't know what Comic Con is, it's where all the comic book lovers and uh, Star Trekky type people and Lord of the Rings and all that sort of sci-fi, cool, comic-y go. And they often go dressed as their favorite character. They, they do. Act. Yeah. In they... fact, I thought if I if I went dressed as one of my characters, I could probably be totally incognito. You could. You could. I could. I How long did makeup take for Lord of the Rings every day? Uh, oh, that that wasn't such a big Not ordeal. So bad. That wasn't so bad. Mm -hmm. No. I wasn't in prosthetics or anything like no. that. No. Now, you were saying you have a 10 year old, right? I do. Boy or girl? Uh, a boy. I've does, got two boys. You have two boys. Okay, mm. does the 10 year old get to watch your movies? Some of them. Some of them aren't appropriate for him to watch. But uh, yeah, he's, he's sort of touched on, um, you know, he's seen a bit of Lord of the Rings and. Mm -hmm. Um, he accidentally watched the Bourne Supremacy on a <laughs> flight. So, <laughs> Daddy, is that you getting smashed into the? <laughs> oh into the no! Wall? 
But he knows the difference, because you've been doing this his yeah, whole I mean, life, he, so he knows the difference He between... comes on set, and, right. you know, mm -hmm. he's, uh, he, they're very good at keeping you grounded, kids. Of course. Very good. Yeah, you don't, yeah, yeah you're but not But then cool. you leave them behind and escape to Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs> but when they get dad, they get dad for, like, three months, right. and by the time dad's ready to leave, they want dad to leave, you know, they're kind of ready <laughs> for me it. to go. But, Are you um, the stricter parent? Pro yes, yeah. Really? I, I, I probably am. Yeah, hmm. I probably am. So well, your wife has to make nice to them because she's stuck with them all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, she gets to be mummy and daddy when dad's away. Right, so, right. But it's funny, my, uh, my son, he, he's 10 years old, and he was in, a, in his uh, math tutoring class, and uh, his tutor was trying to inspire him, um, you know, to put more work in, and he was saying, come on, you know, you don't think your dad just, you know, walks onto set and say those lines. You know, he has to work hard. He has to work hard to memorize those lines. And, you know, you need to, you need to put some effort in. And he sort of looks at her and he goes, yeah, he learned those lines, but he didn't write them. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? I just, just keep you down to earth. It's good. It's that's pretty pretty smart. Okay, I think that's the end of the lesson. <laughs> so how did you get your start in acting? Um, I would just define it as a, as a long-standing compulsion, really. Um, when I was about eight years old, my mother worked at a production company, and every so often they would screen these New Zealand films on the garage door for the for on the, the crew. On the garage? Did you hear that? On the garage. No, it's door. the garage. It's the garage, it's the garage. baby. The garage. Yeah, they would screen them on the door for the crew, and uh, so you know, I was eight years old watching these you know really amazing New Zealand films by uh, by Jeff Murphy and Roger Donaldson. And, and I guess that's, that's what really kind of inspired me to, uh, to, uh, to, piece, to pursue this career. How different is the television there, the shows that you were on television in, in New Zealand, correct? Uh, yes, I did. I did do television early on. How different is it? from? Because we don't get to see any of it. Yeah. Um, well, similar? It's, it's still pretty, pretty similar, I mm -hmm. think. You know, have similar daytime shows and right. similar, uh, uh, you know, soap shows. Yeah. And when you filmed um, Lord, The Lord of the Rings, you got to see more of your country than you'd ever seen Oh, that before? was an incredible experience. I mean, they would actually, on I mean, an average day on Lord of the Rings, they would hop us into a small Cessna plane, fly us over a lake into the middle of a uh, complete wilderness, land in a sheep paddock, with, and, and, uh, and from there we'd hop in a four-wheel drive and drive half an hour into, into an even more wilderness, and, and that's where we'd shoot. I mean, I, I literally got to see more of my own country shooting that for, for 10 months than I had for, for living there for 30 years. That's Must, it's very beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful, yeah. If you ever get the opportunity to go down, I, I thoroughly recommend it. And if you're a foodie, you would love it. The food really? there, it, What's it's, there it's to incredible. eat besides mutton? <laughs> a delicious mutton. Was that a sheep joke? Am I getting, was, am I getting sheep I, jokes here? I can't here? do the good sheep yeah. jokes on No, on you cannot. Show, so no, no, no yeah. you cannot. Sorry. Uh, I could tell you a few. No. <laughs> Hey, great candy, by the way. Right? Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> That's really, it's just some really good candy. Hey, do they have Halloween in, in New Zealand? We do, but it's, uh, Halloween is not uh, as big a deal as it is here. Right. I mean, well, here it's, it's an industry. It's, it's yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's a countdown, I think, on Hallmark <laughs> Channel that says 30 more days. Well, I understand, because yeah. uh -huh. it's candy.